guys, Louie here, and uh, I have got a package to unbox. And then what I'm actually even more excited about is another one of these uh, trunks. Oh man, so that that is the bomb. If you've got a big collection, um, so let me show you uh, the silver first, and then I'll show you what's in the box and how you can get one. Because uh, if you have a bunch of silver uh, and a lot of collectibles, these trunks are great. All right, so there it is. You've seen it before. This is um, um, the Royal Fortune, okay, from uh, Black Flag, Black Bart. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, the Perth Mints. Um, Pirate Ships series, got the skull in the background, and Black Bart's ship. Uh, you know what the other side is. And these are always beautiful from Perth Mint. Uh, they, I got these for a little under $30, which is, uh, is my top end for a collector coin. I mean, I just don't want to buy a hundred of a coin that sells for 30 bucks or 28 bucks, and then... Uh, try to resell it for uh, 45. This is not, uh, that's not really worth it to me. Now the first one, which was the real no-brainer, is going for over a hundred dollars now. And I did get a hundred of those, but I think I wholesaled some of them. So I just got four and I paid the sales tax, um, but they're doing real well. They're selling in the high 40s. So an immediate profit if you want to sell one to a friend, but uh, Again, if you pay 30 and you sell it for 47 or 45, pull out five bucks for shipping or fees. Um, just, I, I just, I'm not that interested in uh, bullion in the $30 range, even premium bullion, even a great series like this. But in the old days, I probably would have bought a hundred of these. And congrats to those of you that did. I was happy with four, and uh, I'll have to figure out how many of the first coin I have left. Um, but uh, I'll show you my system and I'll be able to do that by, um, well, let me show you the trunk first because I think you guys might want one of these, really. All right, I'm back. And if you've got a box kind of like that, that's just got miscellaneous collector coins and things that you want to take better care of and, um, you know, just make sure it's secure and easily transportable, check this out. American-made Rhino trunk. Okay got a magnetic um, latch on it where you can put locks on. Beautiful, beautiful, serious hardware. This thing is beefy and it is a solid plywood interior with really nice articulating hinge there. Um, it will probably, I'm just gonna guess here, but I think this would probably hold two, 300 pounds. Not that I would just stack bullion bars in it. Probably couldn't take, you know, bullion bars. But uh, for stuff with packaging that needs some space, and uh, it is wood, so it breathes. It's not completely sealed, like a plastic trunk, right, where you can build up humidity. These are being sold on eBay and have been for some time now. Uh, this uh, total price with shipping was $108. They're being sold as factory seconds, but I've got a few of them, and... Um, they're perfect. They're perfect and they obviously came right off the assembly line. I think they move their excess inventory through eBay by calling it a factory second. So the $108 uh, is a good, good price for something of this quality. This is not a cheap, you know, um, footlocker like, you know, you might see college kids have. This is like, this would probably make it in the army. Um, and uh, so it'll handle the weight you can stack them, you can stand on them, you can use them for a coffee table, uh, which my daughter does, and put stuff in them. And then the 108, of course, then you can get your eBay bucks on that, you get your 3% uh, eBay credit card discount, um, and you know, out the door, it's gonna be a lot less, but uh, you know, people don't really know because they're being sold as factory seconds, and uh, you know, they claim they could have damage, but I've never got one that had had has damage. Solid leather handles that won't pull off on you. And if you want a spring for the wheels, if you do want to load it up, um, there are brackets here for the wheels. The wheels are pretty pricey, but if you're going to wheel it around, if you can't handle this kind of weight, um, you can pick up the wheels as well. 
So there is the Rhino truck uh, trunk, and uh, really recommend these, especially if you're just a little disorganized, um, like me, uh, with all the buying and the selling and the storing. Um, what I've taken to doing is getting rid of all, you know, boxes and cardboard and makeshift um, containers. Um, and uh, just gone to these trunks. And what I will do is, as I transfer inventory, you know, from a box like that, and, and there's probably more bullion in there than there are collector coins, but as I fill it up, <clears throat> I will open a memo pad, and I will dictate the contents as I put them in, and then I will label the trunk, and then I will store that, uh, that archive. So that'll tell me uh, what's in what trunk, and uh, how many ounces of it, etc. And it's just, um, it's worked out really, really well for me. Plus, you know, you can move them around to different locations, store them wherever you want. Um, and then, uh, you know, if you do have these uh, in your house, you may want to label it, you know, something like uh, sewing, right? Or, you know, you could put it in a conspicuous place and nobody would ever really know what's in there. You could put some blankets on top if you want. Um, anyway, so I highly recommend these Rhino trunks, American made, beefy, beefy as hell. You know, even Louie could stand on that and not break it. Um, and I'll put the link down below if you want to pick one up. So uh, there you go. Uh, hope you're enjoying your day. And uh, I'll see you pirates later. Bye. Ooh.